No, all we're asking, obviously Educate Together and the ETB, they have done it before, we know that. So they're well disposed to doing it again. The difference being that there is an existing building here, but it would need significant enhancement. Uh, interestingly, the school is as sturdy and solid as the day it was built in the 1940s, unlike a lot of the buildings that we see going up. But you would need a lot more capacity and you'd need state-of-the-art you know, labs and so on. Um, so I don't think the ETB or Educate Together would be upset if you came out today and said you're willing to put funds to something that they're discussing. And really, it shouldn't be up you know, to patrons to come together and do this, in my opinion. The state should be identifying a need and saying we will provide it. Because we have this mad situation, a time lag in this country, whereby because of the interconnection between the church and the state, people, it is scandalous that you can't send your child to a non-segregated gender school in that entire area, you know? one that isn't run by uh, a religious patron as well, when there's clearly such a demand. This is happening all over Dublin and Thank the country. You, so I would encourage you to uh, please give that commitment now. And I would say to people, use the local elections, use the European elections to get these sort of commitments from yourselves and from the government. And we certainly will, Thank in solidarity, much, be holding meetings Minister, on expanding this issue. Minister, can you conclude? Yeah, look, I'm happy to work with you on this. And the last thing I want to do is to be accused as a minister making a, a big announcement on the evening, uh, on the eve of uh, a local election. It's not my style. It's not my form. I don't, I don't do it. Uh, and I, I don't think it's, it's, it's right to be, you know, giving detail of what, what I will do in the future when I don't have any basis to make that decision. But just to reassure you, um, if you're looking at a school, which you're naming there, that was built in the 1940s um, and is still standing the test of time, uh, one of the policies that has been changed, not in my time within the Department of Education, and I think all departments need to look at this, rather than always going for the greenfield site, there are some schools that are standing a couple of hundred years, um, or a school like this in the 1940s. If we can adapt that traditional structure, extended for the new modern labs and also to do up the existing school in, a, in an environmentally sustainable way. That's something I'm in, in, I'm, I'm in agreement with and certainly I'd be happy to work with uh, all the hard-working uh, TDs, TDs in, in that area.